Okay, now we derive the formula of surface area for parametric surfaces. A parametric surface A parametric surface is uh, always write as R U V equals X U V Y U V Z U V. That is the coordinates. All the coordinates you know, depends on on the parameter parametrics uh, parametrics U and V. Okay, now we derive the surface area in for this form. This R R equals R U V. That's that's the surface. Now we use u equals constant. u equals constant, and v equals constant on the on the surf on the surface. We give the different uh, different curves to subdivide this surface, and at u equals constant. We find the, the the u equals constant uh, and v equals constant in the region is rectangular. Uh, that's the region D. That's the surface. For this part, the D. The delta a i for on the d that is delta u times delta v. Maybe we can write as k l. And uh, in the in the surface, this is uh, u equals u equals constant. This is v equals constant. So the uh, the we we still use the tangent plane to uh, to approximate approximate this uh, area of the surface part. When u equals constant, this is a tangent tangent vector. It's tangent vector for v equals constant. This u equals constant. So the Parallelogram is here. U equals constant, so the uh, tangent, uh, the tangent uh, vector is R V, and the this vector can be write as R V times delta V L. That uh, that that's the tangent vector. We uh, we know uh, from the uh, the space curve there that uh, R V is a tangent vector for U equals constant, and uh, R V is uh, actually uh, the rate of change rate of change of this line and times delta delta uh, times delta V is the vector, and R this uh, uh, when v equals constant, the tangent vector is r u, and this vector, uh, this small, uh, this vector is actually r u times delta u k, because r u is the rate of change. That is, because r u equals the limit delta u tends to zero. R u plus delta u man, uh, v the v keep const uh, keep unchanged R u v over delta u so that's the R u is the rate of change uh, rate of change for R u v on the v equals constant. So the area 
the area of this part uh, of this par uh, parallelogram is delta s, uh, maybe i. It can be all approximated by the area of the, this parallel parallelogram. That's R U times delta U K cross R V times delta V L. That is R U times R V the length or R U times R V then delta U K. Delta V L. Then the O S that it is or Delta S Delta S I. We can sum uh, sum all the small part for uh, for I. That is can be all approximated by the for K and L, R U times R V, the length of R U across R V times delta U K times delta V L. Then we take the limit. We take the limit. After we take the limit is a double integral. For delta U k tends to zero delta v l tends to zero uh, that's actually a double limit that's double uh, summation r u cross r v then delta u k delta v l oh not not delta u k that's delta u. that's delta u equals the max delta u k and the delta v it calls the max of delta v l that is the the max part the max part for delta u k is there uh, is tends, tends to zero that means all delta u k tends to zero then the uh, double limit and the double summation is actually it's double integral so the double integral for u and v that's r u cross r v uh, the length of r u cross r v times d u d v that's the parametric uh, that's the surface area for parametric uh, parametric surfaces okay now let's uh Uh, look for an uh, example. Find the surface area of the surface. Uh, R U V equals that U U cos V U sine V. That's u cosine v, u sine v. That is actually uh, is a revolution. Or re re revolution uh, surfaces. When u be, uh, u uh, between zero and two, the v between zero and two pi. But the formula for surface area for parametric surfaces that is R U. First, we uh, compute R U and R V. R U is one cosine V sine V. R V R V is 
zero negative u sine v u cosine v then r u cross r v that is i j k r u so one cosine v sine v zero negative u sine v u cosine v that is i times u cosine v square uh, minus j uh, j is u cosine v plus k k is negative u uh, negative u sine v we can write as u cosine v square of oh, the i uh, cos uh, sorry we forgot to minus the another part the, the other part the i is uh, <coughs> u uh, cosine v square uh, plus u sine v square uh, sine v square and j is negative j uh, u cosine v and uh, plus k the k is uh, negative u sine v uh, that is uh, u, uh, u u cosine v square u sine v square that is u uh, j is negative u cosine v uh, for k is negative u sine v so the length for r u cross r v is square root u square plus u square cosine v square plus u square sine v square that is uh, square root 2 times u because u is between 0 and uh, 2 so the uh, takes a uh, take takes a square root in the square root that is 2u square so the surface area is the integration in the region square root 2u du dv the region is u from 0 to 2 v v is uh, we first we integrate in row u use from 0 to 2 and this uh, v is from 0 to 2 pi square root 2u du dv Uh, 0 to 2 pi square 2 times 1 half u square from 0 to 2 and dv that is uh, square root 2 over 2 times 4 times 2 pi that is uh, 4 square root 2 pi that's the final answer. As the <coughs> example for the surface area for parametric surfaces. <coughs>